Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, March 13th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My little cat has eaten and is now standing around. Oop, she just left. We just missed her. <laughs> but I have with me the things that help me pray. A cross and two stones from Philippi. Today, Jeremiah does a very weird thing. <laughs> and God is telling him to do this, to teach a message to the people. But Jeremiah doesn't know why he's doing it at first. God says, go get a linen loincloth. So this is a cloth that a man would tie around his waist, uh, sort of like underwear, to protect him from exposure. So Jeremiah is told to wear this loincloth. So he's walking around with this loincloth on. And it's a very nice linen loincloth. And then God says, go and go to this wadi, which is like a little oasis with water and rocks. Don't get in the water, but take off the loincloth and hide it in a crevice of rocks. So Jeremiah does that. And then a while later, God said, days and days later, God says, go get the loincloth. And Jeremiah goes and gets it. And of course, it's all wrinkled and dirty and ruined and probably ripped from the rocks. And God says, put it back on. Well, now his genitals are exposed and people can see that he has terrible underwear on. <laughs> and God says, this is what happens. I cover my people and protect them. And if they don't treat me well, their relationship with me begins to disintegrate. And then they're exposed. Their shame is exposed. And they will flounder. What an amazing image. What a strange image. But I wonder to myself, what did Jeremiah feel when he was told to buy this loincloth? and then to hide it in a rock, and then to go get it. He must have been thinking, what is going on? <laughs> Why am I doing this again? There are times in life when we are given situations that we have to do, that we not, may not want to do or understand why we're doing. I have to move because the house that I'm in is being sold. I don't want to move. I like this house. It's beautiful. So you say to God, why is this happening? It's not a tragedy, but why am I doing this again? And God shows us. It's interesting, many times we feel called to do work and we feel a purpose and we think God is calling us to care for a loved one or to minister to someone. But sometimes we're called to do things without understanding why. And it's only later that we can understand like Jeremiah. Why did I have to go get this loincloth? Why am I doing this? And he later understood the meaning behind it all. Trust in God's purposes. Even if you're doing something mundane or something you don't like, there may be a reason later on. Often when we look back over our lives, we can see why, why certain things happen and what we learned from them. As long as we're listening and trying to follow God, I believe that even though things may seem strange or difficult, sometimes it's the drudgery that teaches us the most, the painful things, the things that don't make sense at first. I'm grateful for Jeremiah's faithfulness, for his willingness to put himself out there even when he didn't understand why. Now that's putting your trust in God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for Jeremiah who's willing to go make a fool of himself in order to make a point for you. Guide us in all that we do the things that we understand and seem purposeful, but also those things we just have to do, like paying our taxes or 
going to work someday. Help us to do these things knowing that there is a purpose in you and you will show us. Help us to listen and to seek your guidance in all things. Lord, bless those who are ill today. Bless those who are dying. Bless the hungry. All those who find themselves exhausted, waiting for this pandemic to end. Thank you for the vaccines and for the gradual lifting and opening of our culture, but help us to be mindful of those that have not yet been vaccinated. Help us to have patience. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, your son, who listened to you and did what you ask, maybe not always understanding why, and lifted himself up for love of the whole world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.